uh, we're talking with you, uh, Madam uh, Aya for Vivian. Uh, just listen there to the first few panelists who highlighted their points and uh, Metro Alex and uh, highlighted the fact that those who are responsible for the killings uh, there are, of course, he said criminals are responsible for the killings and those who are separatists, of course, are, you know, are not uh, in that direction. Now, who do you think we should blame here with regards to that killing? Uh, Metro said they are criminals and uh, of course we were looking at a crisis that has not been resolved properly which has resulted to uh, such extrajudicial killing of uh, the population by separatist fighters. Who do you think we should blame here? Thank you again. That question is for me, right? Sure, yeah. Just want to make sure. Uh, thanks again, uh, gentlemen. Um, we <laughs> this didn't start today, right? Um, we are redressing. We are trying to redress issues that started <laughs> decades ago. In one instance, we are trying to put blames on a situation that has been going on for decades. We are trying to redress a failure total failure in administration, total failure in governance, total failure in every single aspect of leadership in this platform. It cannot happen. I, I cannot sit here and tell you that um, the, the, the separatist or who's to blame I, I completely agree with Metro Alex on his, you know, um, submissions and 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 his X-ray of the situation. And and our first speaker, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name uh, properly, but th this is the problem we're facing in Cameroon, right? Um, we're facing a problem of 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 terrible terrible failure in leadership terrible failure in governance terrible failure in every if you want to 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 oh my god i i don't even know where to start lewis i don't know where to start blaming these guys and again like i said from the beginning my heart drops for 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 these civilians going through this my heart drops we are talking about these are guys who if if you go and dig deeper in the backgrounds of these guys who these criminals i call them criminals as well if you go and check into their backgrounds these are guys who might might have had um uh barely any kind of education right and education is the problem too. They, they might have had barely, barely any kind of education. And then you equate it to a government, to, to people who are supposed to know better. We are not supposed to find ourselves here. Let's take ourselves back to five or six years ago into this crisis. We found people's heads being chopped, right? Let's go back to Sam Soya, right? He was one of the first victims who was butchered in, in broad daylight on, on TV, on social media. And, and you ask yourself, who is supposed to know better here? Our military, our, um, um, our, our people who are supposed to be trained to know better or these so-called we call now separatists we have all sorts of names for them amber boys whoever it is at the end of the day lewis and 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 my brothers and brothers in in the platform and and the audience i blame the government of cameroon i blame the government um there has been a failure in governance there has been a failure the fact that we find ourselves here, right? Talking about 
marginalization, talking about the, the maltreatment. I attended a university at SUA. And, and that's where I my activism started. That's where my advocacy started. That's where I I I started noticing this this gross this gross um, maltreatment of 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 uh, anglophones, if you want to call it anglophones, the maltreatment of Southern Cameroonians, the maltreatment of of people from the northwest and southwest. And when this crisis started, let me tell you guys a short story. I live here in Atlanta, Georgia. I, I struggled to no avail to bring this situation to, to, to the table with the Cameroonian Association here in Georgia for us to sit down as brothers and sisters, both Francophones and Anglophones, and talk about it. it, it, it I, I struggled to no avail because the president himself at the time, Ben Equala, who comes from, who hails from, 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 from Douala. And I, I, I approached him and I said, we need to be able to sit as brothers and sisters. We cannot just con continue business as usual. Um, and this guy told me, Vivian, I do not believe that this problem is a Cameroonian problem. I do not believe that this, those who are killing or doing whatever is happening in the Northwest province, are Cameroonians. They are infiltrating from infiltrators from Nigeria. And oh my God, I I, I opened my eyes and I'm like, Ben, I am I, I am shocked that you're educated and you're making such comments. You're going back to the fact that you're you're claiming that um, me, Vivian, I know nothing. I say, are you aware of the fact that you're speaking to an Anglophone who happens to be very learned and educated? Are you telling me that I am Biafran? Are you telling me that we know nothing and somebody else has to come and tell Anglophones how to feel, what to stand for, and what to fight for? So I, I say all this to still tell um, my brothers here as hosts, co-hosts, uh, presenters, and the audience that this problem is deep. It is deep. It is complicated. And only until, only until we sit down as brothers and sisters, only until we acknowledge that there is a root cause to this problem. The international community can only do that much. And I have walked in the halls of so many, so many diplomatic doors. And I've realized that the solution to this problem lies between us as a people first, we need to be able to acknowledge that there is a problem and then we start solving the problem. But at the end of the day, when, um, when you see, when you look at every conflict, who starts it? Two strong men or two people with guns, right? And then who suffers? Those two guys whom we saw sitting on the floor and getting slaughtered in broad daylight. Those are the vulnerable ones who end up picking up the pieces and the consequences of a conflict like the so much complicated one we find ourselves in Cameroon. All right. But we must talk, okay. Lewis and everyone. We must sit around the table and dialogue. Thank okay. you.